our comprehensive diagnostic assessment program starts at admission. Actually, it starts pre-admission and goes all the way through. Everybody's involved in it. So if you have every housekeeping staff, all the kitchen staff, everybody, the front desk person, all involved in the assessment um, process, what you have is a really comprehensive view of the patient. There's nobody who can tell you how many times somebody with OCD washes their hands, like somebody from housekeeping. At Altamira, we use assessment for a few different things. The first would be to see how the patient is doing. The second would be to inform treatment. For instance, there are certain types of treatment that go with certain cognitive profiles. If you have a patient with very low abstraction, for instance, they'll never be able to effectively do cognitive behavioral therapy. Right? So that's the second way, is to sort of guide the team in how to best treat the patient. The third is um, a very close collaboration that I, that I have with the psychiatry and internal medicine departments. It sort of guides the medication management for the patient. The fourth would be to affect the aftercare planning. If a patient is having a problem multitasking, for instance, and we give them a list of 17 things they have to do upon discharge, they're never gonna get done. If we didn't do assessment, we would miss the various ways in which cognition, personality, and emotional functioning influence your overall picture and recovery. If we didn't do assessment, we would run the risk of missing an accurate diagnosis, which is the first step towards successful treatment. Also, we run the risk of assuming that a patient either cannot or will not engage in treatment. And that's a risk you really can't take.